Right, everyone, it's C Porter. It's been a while, mostly because, as you've seen, if you've actually looked at my channel a while, it's because of, um, well, it's because of different stuff with um, shipping my records around as well as not having many new ones to actually put out. So, yeah, last couple of months I've been doing um, book work and otherwise and had to deal with some stuff, but, um, well, yeah, I got a, I went to the auction, as you can see here, by this box. And these are my auction winnings that have arrived ahead of schedule. And, yeah. Well, so let's let's uh, get into what uh, Chris always does, uh, all my 78s, and just tear into it and hope for the best. Now, I don't remember everything I got from there. I know there's some Henderson stuff there and in here, as well as some obscure Osborne stuff that has yet to be archived on the internet. Either way, there's a ton of good stuff in here. I think like seven or so things. I, I gave myself a failsafe, which I'm not sure if anyone else has done before for the Noxians, but I highly recommend it if you do one in the future, and that is, you know, because you, you rarely have a chance of getting everything that you uh, get individually, so I said... Hey, if I get under three things win here, just give me every, like, just one, whatever is the minimum bid from this slot to this lot. And I just, I went through and checked in the catalog to make sure that I could actually get it. Unlike most, I don't really care about the outsides of the boxes unless I'm going to be shipping something in it, uh, like reusing it. So... That's why I'm being a bit messy with the tape otherwise here. Usually for this stuff, last time it took me like a solid 10 minutes to open one of these. So of course I'm going to be cutting this into sections. Good enough for that. Of course packing peanuts because I'm not uh, the pink kind as usual. There's a lot here. Now, if only the last person that I got the that I got the last Osborne record would have actually packed it like this, like you're supposed to, then it would have survived. And maybe one of these years I'll have like an actual switchblade or something to cut this stuff with, instead of this rusty old pair of scissors that have the cap missing on it. I have to pry it all open with. First I'm doing with this side, if anything, is cutting into, or just jabbing the ends of the noxion sleeves themselves. Maybe scratching them up, but hey, they're, they're plain blank sleeves that I'm going to be writing on anyway, so I don't really care about that. Last time I did one of these, I actually got uh, a record signed by Kurt Nock himself. I request, I know, but um, still significant nonetheless. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay. And right on top here, as it should be, when shall we meet again? Oh, come on. There we are. Yes. Very well done. The chimes in the chapel as well. Ooh, nice royal. I think that's the Canadian royal, ain't it? Yes, Montreal, Canada. Bob Cosner and Cornelian's All-American Girl, and you're telling me. Following up with Yubi Blake on a... Yubi Blake on a Victor Batwing. Baltimore Buzz and Bandana Days. That'll be interesting. Little, Little and Low by The Honey Dripper and Night at the Right Time. Emma Lewis. Nice. Shoot, this must be uh, my blue is something. I don't know much about Emma Lewis, but I'm pretty sure she is some sort of, considered some sort of blues. Lucy Miles, yep. 
It has to be. Another one. Edna Hicks and Lizzie Miles again. Well, I think the Henderson one might have been one of the Victor ones just as piano. But hey, him as piano is still good. Mailman Blues by Tiny Mayberry. Um, I got a feeling for you. Well, that'll be nice seeing what is it? Like six of these soon. Six. Seven. Yeah, about seven. So about seven of these. Yeah, it'll be nice uh, getting these up on the channel soon. It's good for thirty bucks worth of stuff. Again, it's uh, giving yourself a fail safe on it. Let me let me show you. Going into the catalog here, what like I don't know if anybody else did it first, but um, not only just bidding on on random things that you want, but just like saying minimum, just the minimum bid stuff from here down to here, or just if you if you can check enough from page to page to page, going for thousands, just saying whatever is minimum bid here, um, minimum bid three bucks, um, all that stuff, then yeah. And that's how I got all this stuff here. Not bad. So, yeah, um, I think that'll be about it for now. I'll see you guys around.